Coach on the road with PK Paul Canerco. Well, it looked like you're trying to send a message out to this uh, road trip, but you still got a lot of bullets left in the tank. Well, I'm just you know trying to fill in for Jose while he's out. Um, you know, team's playing well. You know, we feel good about ourselves, and um, just trying to keep it moving along. You know. And how special is it for you knowing that this will be the end of, of, of an era for you at the end of the season? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm trying to have fun with it. I mean, um, it's been a great ride, you know. Um, couldn't ask for really much more, you know. Uh, playing with one team for a long time. You know, the city that, is, that the team is in, it's been great. I've uh, been treated well here. and You know, definitely trying to enjoy all of that. And I'll enjoy it more when I'm done. Um, but also trying to come in every day and know that these games, you know, uh, matter and that, that, that we have a pretty good team here and, and uh, that focus on the game each day to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I've always done and that's come in to play the game every day instead of, you know, trying to make it into a big deal like my last year and all that. I know it is and I know it'll get to that point at the end, but uh, for now it's just kind of status quo, just keep playing the game. And when you look, you know, I've been around covering you guys for the last five, six seasons, and I probably see the most energy and the most life out of this team. I mean, I like the chemistry in this team. Yeah, I mean, we got some new guys from uh, that weren't, weren't here last year. Um, you know, some guys that can do some things out there, and, you know, run wise, running wise, and, and defense wise, and um, you know, I think that that, that always helps. Um, a lot of the guys are the same. I think we're swinging the bats better as a team this year, and that always makes it look um, like there's more energy when you score some runs. Um, so, yeah, two months in, you know, just about, it's, it's been good. I, mean, I think, considering how last year went, I think we've come out of the gate pretty pretty well this year, and, and, um, but there's a long way to go. we got to keep grinding away. It's not going to just happen every day. We have to keep coming here every day with a purpose, and like we have been, and, and, and you know, It'll keep working if we do that, I believe. Last two questions. I mean, when you look back over the game, two pioneers for their particular organizations are in the season this year, yourself and Jeter. Can you reflect back on Jeter and his career a little bit? Well, I mean, Derek uh, Jeter is, you know, to me, he's number one in my book as far as uh, just all the things you look for, obviously, in a baseball player, a winning player, um, but just, just handles himself with class. I mean, he plays the toughest position in the toughest city, uh, and, you know, never once have you seen him, you know, not uh, composed and, and, and treating people the right way and, and treating the game the right way. And, and you know, for, for me, he's top of the list when I come. There's a lot of great players you play against. Uh, and there's a lot of great guys you play against. Uh, he's definitely the, probably the best mixture of, of both. That uh, I don't think anybody would really argue that. I mean, he's just done it right the whole way through. And um, you know, he's uh, definitely baseball is lucky to have a guy that uh, has conducted himself the way he has uh, because he's on the biggest stage and everybody's looking at him. And you know, he does it right. And as far as yourself, have you thought about what you're going to do with life after baseball after all these years, getting up and grinding it out? <laughs> uh, not, not too much. I mean, definitely the family would be, big, be a big part of it. Um, you know, you're away a lot when you're playing. There's just so many things you can't do. So I don't know too much about what I'm going to do other than I know what I'm not going to do. And that's, that's going to be playing baseball and traveling around and going to spring training and, and doing all that stuff. So that'll free up some time and uh, obviously and, and you know, just be a dad and um, find some things that interest me, but at the same time, you know, uh, enjoy enjoy the fact that I don't have to go out there and grind it anymore. And I'm sure you drive the wife crazy being around the house all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. That'll be, uh, there's a lot of unknowns, you know, I haven't never not done it, so um, never not been playing baseball as long as I can remember. So, uh, well, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll get to that point. We'll, uh, you know, deal with it as it comes, but... That's still off in the distance for now. Those taking yards is behind the scenes with Paul Canerco. Appreciate it. Yeah, all right, thank you.